Welcome back to Factorio, Megabase in a Book. My name is Neil House, and uh, we are continuing on this journey. There are still lots of interesting things that I want to do. And I have a special project for us today that we'll be diving into shortly. First, I just uh, want to make sure that I, uh, that I thank appropriately the patrons who are supporting. And now I haven't done so much lately that is sort of encouraging the patrons uh, patronage here on the channel. So I really very much appreciate all the people who are supporting both the small supports and the very big support. It's all super amazing. And it's the reason why I can keep doing all of this YouTube and stuff. So thank you very much, particularly to the patrons who are supporting. Thank you. Now, I may have an admission, but I'm not going to go quietly into the night. It's about buffer chests. So um, basically... The, YouTubers love complaining about comment section and how junk it is and how awful it is. No, not most. Most comment section is just people go just uh, just throw out a random comment. But there's actually a lot of good uh, details, and uh, sometimes uh, people actually take the time to do something. So I want to thank James Epp who uh, did a very thorough uh, analysis and uh, rebuttal of my uh, points about the buffer chest. So what I'm going to do today is actually give it a shot. So try to implement what uh, he has proposed and see if we can do that. So I'll uh, I'll be doing that. We have a few things that we want to do first, and then we'll go into trying to figure out how to get buffer chest to work. Actually, maybe that's it's the opposite direction. Maybe I should do some of those uh, things first. Um, the first thing though that we have issues with is here we are not getting enough space science, and we can see that if we go on here. Well, only one of them or one of them is not working if we look at here this is open this is open and i this is closed but it, because it just got in so right now we're actually having a drought of uh, of white science and it should be fast enough if we look at it and then we'll just trace through what the issue is if we look at this this is the issue it's the lack of satellites which we discovered last time over here we have also lack of satellites again so we're not producing enough satellites and satellites are only produced here and if we look at how much it has what it's doing it looks like it's keeping up on everything here uh, it is not consistently producing because it's not putting in things fast enough here uh, actually that might be something i should uh, take a look at and just get that fixed uh, i think we can get it to produce a bit faster which is primarily going to help us in terms of sort of catching up, but it won't really help us in terms of, of building faster in the, in the long run. And here we are. Let's run on over and take a look at this location. So what I want to do is if you look at this, it's, this is ingredient shortage because it's still working on putting in the low density structure. So what if I did, oh, not like that, um, put that here. And then I did these undergrounds here. Because they have to go to 100 each. 100, 100. Uh, rocket fuel shouldn't be a problem. And these are inputting from a chest. So because they are from a chest, they are super fast. Uh, this should now be working. Let's see how fast this one goes. Oh, it's close. It's close though. The funny thing is that it's... Yeah, well, it's close enough. Wonder how much it actually... It's also interesting, why is it on 10? <clears throat> why is it on 10 and not on 12? It can go up to 12, but it only gets 10 before it's it stops. Hmm. Um, we'll keep it like this and we'll just see here 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 90 and there. And this one will get slightly closer. So I'm going to say like a rough estimate is that it's working at, I don't know, like 90% effectiveness. This is at speed 1.5, 1.25. So uh, this is on a five second cycle. So I think that if this was speed one, it would probably work at 100%. So it means every five seconds we are getting, we're getting a, a satellite. And that means every minute, five times, uh, no, that's 12, 12 minutes. Yeah, okay. So we have 12 per minute. 12 rockets per minute is 6,000 science per second. So actually, this was not keeping up. That's actually interesting. So it has to be running at pretty close to maximum rate in order to actually uh, actually deliver what we, what we want here. Is there a way for me to slow it down? Mm, no, not really. 
Okay, well, I think this actually, it, it was, I was thinking that one would be fast enough and now putting speed modules in will not do anything at this point. So that's, uh, it's very interesting. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, run this back home and uh, then we start, while we are working, we start working on the thing. Oh, actually we can actually do this. Like here, first of all, we'll do science. Uh, nope, I can't spell science. Science, on a 10 minute, on a one hour, you can see it dropped down some time ago and then it hasn't been able to keep up again this is where we had the issue uh before the end of the before the start of the last episode with the, what was it the uranium part that caused it to sort of lag and then it hasn't been able to catch back up so we're at a modest 3.8 right now we can't really seem to get the last one on online if i then do oops on satellite satellite funny how that has satellite huh um what is the production speed this is a production here so it's running and i would oh only this only this yeah so here we can see it was zero for a long time because it ran out and was waiting for satellites that's about 30 minutes ago uh, then we went here then we fixed it at the end of the last episode then it's been going up and then lagging and then i got it stable and now we just upped it three minutes ago to here so it is pretty clear that we go from 6.7 satellites per minute to 13.3 yeah that is definitely enough good that's good right so let me explain the concept the two arguments that won me over in terms of actually giving uh, giving buffer chest a shot in this case there are two points that i sort of missed um is that one of them is if you have logistics bots transporting to a to a buffer chest then your construction bots are not used and the logistics bot can carry four items so you sort of spread it out between logistics bots and construction bots which i mean in in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't really matter. It's it's stuff in the air. But if a logistics bot can carry four times as many items, then you know maybe maybe that should even if it needs to fly longer, then it it needs to it'll still be less robots in the air. Now that that's a small argument. It might be good. It might be not that relevant. The other argument that I think is really good is that when we send out a new row up here. And that's what we're going to do. Uh, then they will fly all the way from here and out and back again. And they'll get stuck because they're kind of flying in the same direction and then get stuck on, on loading. But if I have buffer chests up here, let's start making some buffer chests. And uh, then we're going to... Ooh, uh, let's see. We're going to have to build them ourselves. There. And we are going to figure out what that buffer chest should be it should probably be enough for a couple of maybe four or something locations yeah you're already here um then okay so let's say that we build a buffer chest we'll build like one two three four five maybe five or something i think that's the right number here uh how many blocks do we have i think it was like 20 yeah we'll we'll figure out how many i think five is probably a good number and then each one should have a certain number that will correspond to... I can't even see it. I'm going to have to go in here. Go here. And then see 751 plus 6. Okay. So it will be 751 and 630. And then how many... And 188. 188, good. So I want to see if that, how much that takes up of the space in this location. There. Yeah, in, in realistically speaking, I can't really get more into one of these. So I guess this is the template for the logistics for this, which means I'm going to be needing more than five of, the, of those. I'm going to need a lot more. Yeah, okay. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is build it up here. The, the idea is that I will not be building it at every lane, but maybe like every four lanes or every something like that. And then we'll try to mark it on the map. 
And we'll do something clever as well. So I will do... We'll try setting them up here and then we'll be make sure that we remember to have that. Uh, that means up here. Where could we build it? Where would be a good place? I want to build it like evenly in the middle here. Um, right. That one. Like if I want to build it evenly then there and there would be the good locations. And... Then I'm going to remember to mark it with a buffer chest. And I lost it. There. Boop. Okay. And then I need to f do some counting and figure out where the other ones are. So let me just put in those on the other side. All right. So I decided some locations. One on the either side of this middle one. One, two, three, four. That means I have nine in total. And each of them can store, in this case... I have set it up to store for two, so that'll be 18 city blocks worth of solar panels I have up here. I don't think that's enough. I think I want to double that just in case. There. And then I want to take this part and then put it into these locations as well. And we should see a hell of a lot of activity soon. First, we'll get like the small ones coming in here. Uh, this will give us, uh, if there are... If there are nine of this times four city blocks worth. Okay, that's 36 and I have 53 city blocks wide. So I am not even having the full range up there. But I think that's okay. I don't know if I'm supposed to have all of it here. Maybe I am there. But we'll start doing this. What we'll see now is we have a few here, here, here. And that means we are going to get all of that up. When that comes in, then uh, we'll see the robots flying up there with the resupply. So let's uh, just sit back, relax, and watch that go crazy. That was a very interesting watch, in my opinion. Uh, the fact that we could just see how things were progressing was pretty good. Uh, let's have a look. At, uh, I'm not going to change from this view if I can at all help it. Uh, this is still problematic. Don't know if we can uh, get over here. Uh, let's have a look at our here. This is still uh, the satellite production. Satellite production somehow dipped, I hope. That's probably because it was running out of... Uh, the only thing I can imagine it was running out of was radars. Here on the consumption side, hmm, doesn't really tell us much. 3.7 is being consumed. 3.6, that's not much. That's actually really low. I should be looking at that, but I'm not going to because we are in the middle of this product, project. So if I do... What we saw now was that everything's now set up here. Now, if I do the first one, I don't think I'm going to get the best benefit because they all of the robots are situated down here now i only really get the benefit if i have robots have the construction robots up here and the loading or the logistics robot down here but what we expect to see is that the yellow ones will start flying up here some may fly empty and pick up from the buffer chest some will go from here and then we will also see the white robots the logistics robots coming back and doing more so i'm going to do this part There, and I will then go also build uh, nope nope where's my where's the one with with the uh, rubber ports 
That's not rubber ports. That's rubber ports. This one. I'm going to prepare that for the next round. Now, what we're seeing is actually already a potential advantage. We are seeing here, we're seeing that the robots, the construction robots were up here because they just completed build, uh, refilling in this line. So because that line was refilled, all of my robots are actually, more construction robots are mainly up here. Oh crap, I was not supposed to be that doing that. Yeah, 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 okay. No zooming, no zooming. All right, we're gonna leave this just for a bit and then see how uh, things evolve. We should be able to see the logistics bot start going back here as we pick up things from the logistics, from the buffer chest, we should be seeing a replenishment as well. So seen, I think we've seen enough of this uh, in action to uh, to progress. And uh, yeah, <clears throat> we're seeing predominantly the logistics bots down here uh, transporting and predominantly the construction bots staying up here as we were hoping. What we're seeing here is that every time, every blink here is that it takes about 600 entities and those 600 entities will be sort of attempted to find locations for it, that means it's only at any given time 600 uh, logistics requests or construction requests that will be processed, in this case, proce uh, construction requests that will be processed. And that means at when this one is blinking, then it'll be looking for construction bots that can fulfill these demands. And that will most likely look at the, the, the buffer chest we have up here. So I think that we can uh, we can safely say that I think this is a good thing. There's one problem with it. Well, there's more problems with it. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of, a lot more, not a lot, more, but there's more, main, more maintenance and more micromanagement. But the biggest problem is that it actually sends a lot more drones in the air. As you can see, our FPS is tanking absolutely uh, because there are now both construction bots and logistics bots in the air. The, the point is though, over time, it'll be, there might be less work okay here you can see now there's a big flood coming in this flood is probably because a train just arrived but that train is not necessarily the train of logistics no it's not necessarily the train of um, of solar panels and solar uh, solar panels and accumulators it could be any train that just arrived that needs to be unloaded and that's what we're going to be taking a look at i'm actually going to de be deleting i'm going to go out of range of that and i don't even think that oops there um, there might be a train that has just arrived and we have a lot of things that are ready to unload. But we do have another thing that I noticed is a problem. If we look at our logistics, I have 40,000 accumulators and probably no solar sails, right? If I can spell it, uh, 3.4, that's actually really nice. We still have solar sails, still not solar sails, solar panels. Where do we unload solar panels? Can I see that from the map view? Uh, yes, I can. Here, that one. All right, so that is uh, having an issue with the unload. This is, ah, uh, the solar is not ha having enough. What a big surprise that suddenly we are not having enough. But what I do want here is this is setting to, when it's unloading, it's five seconds of inactivity. Now the front ones are going to unload solar and the back rows here. I am going to constrain this 
so that it doesn't unload if it um, if these values are too high. So don't unload if let's say we have more than 10,000 accumulators. There. And the same with solar. Oh, that's going to be a lot less relevant, but that's at least for consistency. And this one will then have an extra condition that says maximum of 30 seconds. Good. Do we have one? We have one train. So this is also potentially going to constrain our uh, our build here because we are consuming solar sails that also should be going into these locations. No, not that location, but to this one. Yep, this is also starving. Ah, everything is starving. Yeah, that's uh, that's. I don't think I can blame the buffer chest. I'd like to though, but I don't think I can. Or can I? Hmm. How are we doing here? Everything is producing, so it's just working, but it's only working at two thirds speed. This one is how much? Uh, this is green. I can't remember how much it actually was. It must be like. 4,000 in each. Yeah, so this one has to go up to 4,000. Yeah, and obviously it's not producing. Wow, these are slow now. What about this one? Is this close? Yeah, 3.7. So this is also close to coming in. And then the question, will it go to uh, to here? So we can keep science going, or will it go back up here to the hub? As you can see, there's a lot more logistics requests now coming in to uh, to build this. We are probably, oh, it's interesting how we just built all of it. And then from here, it's just a mess. Uh, it just says missing logistics, but it doesn't say anything else. Oh, look at that. That's actually interesting. Now we don't have the other one. That means, what does that mean actually? That means 12,000. And this one means 33,000. Okay, so there should be one in route to this. And here you are still idle yeah you can't go into the other one it'll always be the last one the the furthest the one furthest away that is running running though let's have a look so these are all blue so they're not missing anything they're all blue they're all blue except for the last one so the only thing missing right now is here and you are actually being uh, being loaded at this point so if this one can load fully before or any of the other three requests it, then I might actually get be uh, getting back up to 5,000 at this point. All the way up here, I think what we sh what we primarily I can see here is that we are getting a lot of oh, this. What I'm really interested in, what is it working on down here? Yeah, see, this is the uh, this is the the part, right? When a new train comes in, I'm gonna have to unload. From this location and that's the same logistics bots now that doesn't really matter much because as i pull them down here the next thing that's going to happen is that they will need to go down here when a new train comes in or something so i don't want my logistics bots stuck up here so when a train comes in they have to be pulled back here that's not actually a problem because they're not going to do anything they're never going to do anything up here they will always be doing working between up here and down there so i think i think this is not a problem. I mean, of course, it means that any train that needs to be unloaded unloads uh, significantly slower because it, it doesn't get that inbound as fast as possible. But that's not really a concern. We are struggling a bit on the updates. I, I think this is a, this is a interesting, a very, very interesting. Of course, if I disable this, it will pick up a bit the pace of it because it's, it's the drawing part. Eh, actually, not that much, a bit. Let's have a look at our build. Where was it? Where was it? It was... Hmm. Here? Oh, this one must have just uh, left. Where did you leave? Oh, you're unloading now. Okay. Yep, more unloading. That's good. Does that go straight out? Yeah, it does. It doesn't get consolidated anywhere. It just goes straight out. And we can see that it doesn't know... It's no longer unloading all of the accumulators that's nice because um, we do have enough accumulators uh, we're down to 32,000 so that's good it's it's going down we just burned through 8,000 accumulators in I don't know no time I don't know how we burned through that so fast but that's uh, I guess that's kind of how we how we're working and out here did we have some did we have this one 
Ah, no. Right, didn't... No, look at that. It's actually working. Uh, no, it's not. Oh, right, it's it's blocked because it's en route now. Ta-da! This is brilliant. We will be getting back up to 5k science shortly. Go. As long as the other ones... the other, All the other ones are still active. That's good. But we still know, we can see that there is a deficit of white science because all the other ones are idling at the loading location. This one is idling at the unloading location because it can't find its way back. That being said, we're still at 29,000 here. We are at 35,000 here. We are at 31,000 there. So it's uh, it's not exactly like we are almost running out. I think it's when it goes below 20,000, it, uh, it sends out a new request. So we do have time to fill up these two here. This one's only 5.5 .5 and the other one is, please be better, 19. Okay. Yeah, it's still going to take a bit of time. And we're still... No, we're not actually running out of of satellites. We just haven't filled up our local buffer of satellites yet. This could also be transported by robots, so it had left less on the queue. But I never really thought that would be an issue, having, having that. Uh, how about here? Uh, we do have a tiny bit left and nothing left on this one. Weird. And this one's still going, so... Yeah. <clears throat> This one seems, yeah, this one's missing. And this one is also missing. So again, if we look down here, this one is missing because of lack of solar panels. And that might mean that I should be a bit careful about my solar panels here. This is 1.6 and this one is 1.4. Is there any way that I could make sure that it goes into here first, like priority to this? I could rename them and no. Yeah, I could rename them. I could rename them and then have the train go first to that one, then to the other one, if they're open, of course. Let's do that. It'll be more transport time for this, but it uh, does make sense. So first thing we want to do is make sure that this train is just, um, what are we going to call it then? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I'll put in a row report. Actually, let's do it. Instead of saying this is for the production part, it is now for a row report part. There. I don't know. Then this train will have... First, it goes into the one for the white science. Then it will go into... The one we just invented, that one. Inactivity five and max waiting time. There we go. That means it will never send it out to this location here unless it has already saturated here. That makes sense. That makes sense. I think that makes sense. That's uh, probably the, a good idea. Uh, we are kind of running out, but science is better. Science. Uh, can I just... Hmm. Uh, clear. Clear. Yeah. We're now up, finally up here with the 5 science, 5k science that we wanted. That's good. And uh, how long can it then continue? I don't know. Because we are not replenishing our, uh, our satellites fast enough. Satellites are stuck and because of lack of solar panels. Solar panels are stuck because someone else is consuming it. It's, it's always like that chain. We could have a dedicated uh, build. This one is 2.5 2 now, so this one is a bit less than 2.5. Yeah, 2.3. In the meantime, <clears throat> what we're seeing now is pretty consistent that the construction bots stay up here and the logistics bots move back and forth. And it looks like these are just sending that upwards. I was actually expecting this to be working very well uh, until I had built the next layer up. Of course, stuff like RoboPorts will have to come all the way from, from down, down the usual place. That is okay. But we're still getting this one in a pretty decent manner. So I think that uh, thanks to the people in, in chat who have been pushing me. And, uh, you know, it's I may have uh, strong opinions, but um, 
I can still uh, I can still be persuaded. It might not be easy, but good arguments do bite. And uh, I think this is a good point. I think that the the really the the key point was the part that I could then I can then keep my the majority of my construction bots up while the logistics bots move back and forth. I think that's uh, the part that really convinced me. If uh, for the matter that a logistics bot can carry four items, I mean it's nice. And it absolutely will save on, on on transport. Then it it doesn't feel to me to be enough. Uh, what I also can see is that I built enough in the buffers for thirty six. That means that there will be something going back and forth. But I think that if I want to up it, then it's so that it's closer to all of the fifty three. If I want to do that, then. We can also do this. What I also think I need to do is actually when we move closer up and we need to start landfilling, then I also have to make some buffers of landfill as well. No, actually, I well, you could do buffers for landfill, but if you, it it just doesn't it doesn't save the fact that it can transfer four times as many because construction bots can also carry four times uh, for landfill as well. But I think this is pretty good. I would really like to see if we could get another train in here. I want to see if that works. So I'm just going to wait for this one to uh, to get to uh, to 4,000 so we can see this one coming in. This has now reached 4,000 and we should see a train coming in. Let's just check here. This is green. This is green. So they're both sending green signals. If there are two green signals, then it will send an L equal one. And we should see a train coming in here shortly. Uh, where is it? It is. There it is must be coming in and then we'll just monitor where it's going from here because uh, that's we want to see it go in and uh, replenish our and uh, replenish our what is it called satellite stock first now at this point it's not really unloading here because well we didn't <laughs> unload it anywhere and what it then does is then it goes up here which it'll probably not do anything and then just wait on five seconds idle it means that there'll be more time and there'll be more transport because it's transporting uh, going to this location red, even though it's kind of irrelevant um, and you are waiting so let's do out and let's actually just jump into the train and watch this one there so we can follow the train and we see, should see that it goes in and get started on working uh, get started on building more satellites because this will this will only bring us 40 satellites so we are going to need a constant supply of this to to keep us going anyway i think that as we are progressing this part i want to thank everyone for uh, commenting so fiercely both one way and the other about the uh, buff chests and uh, uh, all of the other things so uh, this should be a good testament for two things i am reading comments and i am actually uh, it's it possible to make me change my mind long-standing opinions about this I think it's a good idea, so uh, this is what I really enjoy. So if you have more good ideas about things that I am mistaken about, by all means, use good arguments, and uh, you might be able to be may, might be able to make me see uh, see the merits. I'm not gonna think think that they're good, but because the thing is, I still see most people not using buffer chests correctly. This is one way where you can use them correctly, uh, so that's good. And I am have used them several times for specific locations, but uh, they're not. They're not a panacea that fixes everything. In any case, I think that this is awesome. We see that this is working. Of course, this one will now go uh, all the way back to our main hub for no reason. Wait there five seconds and then look desperately for another uh, another train load here. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, yeah, I appreciate your support and uh, views and engagement and all that stuff. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, take care. And as always, stay effective.